Okay, so I hear this story about you. First off, you're going to become a myth and a myth and folklore. You know that, right? Like, there's like a, with Jess Lewis, he's a myth and folklore. Right. He like caught O.J. Simpson from behind, right? You know that, right? right. Crazy, crazy story. So, so you got to frame the story in for me. You're sitting in the office one day, and Coach Zaleski says to you, "Hey, we got a football player we want to work out with." Right, right. Literally, that's all. That's that's what you heard. Right. Hey, so, what's he in your mind? Some techniques. He's a defensive lineman. Kind of gave me that much. And then, uh, so what's your, what are you thinking? What are you, are you thinking, thinking a, a walk on, an Oregon State guy, a Portland thinking, State guy? What are you thinking? I'm not thinking walk on, but I'm thinking maybe a scholarship player that, um, a new guy, a freshman maybe, right? That needs to learn some defensive and we got some arm drags and stuff that they want to learn and, uh, ask for our help. That's all I'm thinking. And then I go up there, right? <laughs> so you, you I, leave I the office. Know. Right. You go, you walk right. across that parking lot, right. up into the second story of the wrestling room. Right. And you're thinking, I'm going to go work out with some guy. Big athletic guy, probably. Right, right. Okay. I get still, up there. I still don't know who the guy is when I get up there and see him. And so we start working. An hour goes by, and we're doing, like, arm drags, and he's pushing. And then we sit down, and I'm asking, like, oh, so what's your name? And he says, Nadominicus. I'm like, what? Are you, are you kidding me? What are you doing here? He's like, oh, I'm just here, just working out. And I don't know how Z got a, like, why they reached out to him or asked him for help, but... Um, yeah, I just, I was amazed. So, and Dominican Sue shows up to Port, to, from Portland. He's from Portland. Portland to drive. He drives down an hour and a half to work out with Taylor Meeks. I, apparently. <laughs> I, I don't know about me, but, but Jim Zaleski is teaching him some stuff and working out with me. So, Jim asked me to help. And then, the funny part is, is he's like, hey, that was a little bit of a drive for me. So, I was wondering if you could, uh, if we could, is there a place to land a helicopter? I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, are you serious? Like, where? He asked if he could land his helicopter on the university, like, up on top of the roof or something. What I don't know what his plan was. What did they say to that? It was like, well, we'll just drive. So, the next time we did it, we drove to him. And, uh, yeah, it was nuts. So, it, here's my thing. Like, he's, like, one of the biggest, most aggressive, fastest guys right, right. in the last 30 years or in the college football. They call him the dirtiest football player. But, but nice guy. Nice, great guy. Night, nice, nice. Right. He didn't do any throat grabs or right. throwing kicks Actually, to you, did so, he? So when he's part of the Lions, he had like five hundred or five hundred thousand dollars worth of fines, I guess that year. And then uh, he said, "This last year, my goal was to go no fines, and I guess I guess he did it. So this last year, he went with no fines. But he's like the highest paid like defensive NFL, lineman, defensive lineman in, in the NFL history, I think. So Something you're working like out with this guy, yeah." What was it like when you grab like a physical freak like that? It, it, you said you couldn't see him a lot of the times. Well, yeah, he's elusive, man. He was just like there, and then he wasn't. I was trying to just like back up and like do the lineman block for him, and uh, he was just like, I don't know if I gave him a good feel or not, but because I'm not like a six, seven, three hundred pound lineman, but but it was it was nuts to try to grab a hole on that guy. He's fast, he's athletic, and it's you can see why he's in the NFL and the highest play, paid player. In the when you got a hold of him, could you like move him the how you wanted to though? Um. Not really. I mean, he's a brick, man. He's like, he's wide. He's wide. So I'm just going to, I'm getting conflicting reports. I don't know where reports. Miller, I don't I'm getting know conflicting where, reports. Yeah. Ian said that you put work in on him. <laughs> Ian said you put work in on him, dude. I tried my hardest. That's how I can say it. If you thought I Did you wear him out or did he wear you out? Uh, I wasn't that wore out. I mean. You probably wore him out. Uh, maybe. So know. how long were the goes and how many goes has there been? Well, there weren't like full out goes or anything. It was just technique right so uh, I'd, I'd say about 10 seconds you know however long a play is right and then you try to get through me so he got through me a lot <laughs> in my opinion but Miller thinks different what will you say to Zaleski next time he wants you to work out with someone I want to know what's going through your mind yeah. when Jim Zaleski tells you something the master of downplaying things you gotta yeah that's how he does it <laughs> that's what you understand and he'll probably <laughs> never change but uh I'm like Z you gotta give me more information <laughs> you gotta